Hi everybody, thank you so much for your time. And in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use MIDI instruments in Studio One Prime. This video is meant for the beginners. So if you are veteran musicians, pretty much, I'm sorry, there's nothing for you to learn from. Okay, moving forward, let's uh, dive into MIDI instruments. So before we go into the details about how to use MIDI instruments uh, in Studio One, let me have a brief intro on what is MIDI, okay? Now, MIDI stands for Musical Instruments Digital Interface. Basically, it is a language that instruments and computer use to communicate with each other. So, um, but there's a the thing. So MIDI by itself, it doesn't produce any sound. Instead, it sends the signal that control virtual instruments, which is what we will be using today. So since MIDI is just sending data, like for example, what a note is played, how long it lasts, and how hard it's pressed, it needs a virtual instrument to actually produce the sound. So now you know that what MIDI is and how it works, let's dive in to see what can we use it in Studio One Prime to create music. Now, um, there are a few ways that we can actually uh, use uh, MIDI to control the virtual instruments in Studio One. So the first very manual way to do it is through using the paint tool. Okay, later I'm gonna show you, okay? So let's go through some of the ways. Of course, the other way is to use the QWERTY keyboard, which is your onboarding keyboard. So if you don't have a third one, which is the MIDI controllers, you can still use your computer keyboard to create the uh, notes, okay, for the virtual instrument. So let me just show you how it's done. What you are seeing over here is a MIDI instruments um, it is actually a big pet. How do we first um, put out all these instruments? Let me just show you how to do it, okay? So let me just undo everything and let me just um, delete this, okay? So when you first open up your Studio One projects, you should go to Browse, okay? So if you click on the Browse on your right bottom, okay? So this is a Browse tab. You will see the instrument and then you can navigate to presence artist instruments and then choose the instruments that you would like so in this case let's just um, let's say for example I choose the drum kit let's have a drum kit so let me choose a large kit for example I can just drag and drop it over and then you will see this large kit over here okay i can rename it by double click on just put it drum okay now over here you will see that there is a presence okay uh, let me just zoom in for you to see a little bit clearer okay so let me zoom it a little bit okay so over here you will see two okay so one is presence which is the previous instrument so let me just remove it so by right what you are seeing now is the current track which is the drum track and then you will see the presence so i usually suggest that you do a rename so that you know which instruments or which virtual instruments that you are using okay so now when i switch to drum now i will have a large kit so you will see a lot of buttons this while i will leave it probably to the next video we'll talk a little bit in details but today what we want to do is to understand how the midi works and how to use that to create your first midi track with vocals okay now um if you press the keys below okay let me zoom it out so if you press the key below you will see each key actually correlate to a is mapped to a sound. Oh, you get the DJ as well. Okay, so C1, it's your kick, and then D1 is your snare. Okay, so there are a few ways, as I mentioned, to um, use this. So one is, of course, when you press on all these keys, this is basically to tell you and give you an idea what key map to which kind of sound sample. So to um, effectively record it, you can actually use the keyboard, which is your cap lock tab. Okay, so when you press the cap lock, 
you will see this QWERTY keyboard, okay? Now, when you press your key, so you can see. So when I press my Q on my keyboard, it actually correlates to the sound. Now, you will say, oh, so in this case, uh, why is it different from the sound? Because over here, you can see there is an octave. So now I'm at C3. So if I need to access those uh, sounds that in other octave, what I need to do is to choose C1 octave. Now my Q become my C1. So you can see that it's back to my... Okay. So the good thing about this is for MIDI, there are many ways to make it work. Okay. So now let me just close this. And what you are seeing over here... Okay, so I can do a, for example, I can do a kick first. Okay, now let me just turn on the metronome at the bottom. And this is at 80 uh, BPM. All right. So now let me just record this. And in my head, a record, it will do a count. I suppose, let's start at the bar number two and do a two bar. Okay, so the moment you finish, you double click and then you can see your kick. Okay, so these kicks are all quantized because I've quantized them to 16 bits. So it will always snap, snap on time, right? Okay, now I can do that by using my QWERTY keyboard or I can use the pen tool, as I say. So there are a few ways. So let's say, for example, I want to draw a snare over here. Okay, so what do I do? I can either double click. Okay, so my snare is here and I can click and drag to whichever location I want to. Okay, so this is my snare. So when I play back, Okay, now I want to have another snare. I can either double click here or I can go to my pain tool over here, which is number three, right? So I click here, I access the pen tool. I can then draw this pen, okay? So I can draw, I can, if I hover over it, I can delete as well, okay? Or I can press my backspace to delete. Okay, so these are some of the ways that you can draw. So for example, now I have my snare. Now, if all these patterns are the same, what I can do is I can actually do a copy and paste. So for example, I can highlight this and then do a copy. Uh, the magic tool, same on the Control C or Command C on the Mac. Okay, so I put my cursor here. I can then paste it. So immediately, I will get this. Okay, so now this is what we have been using, the original built-in tool, okay? So let's say if I want to use my um, MIDI keyboard controller. Okay? So what I'm having now is basically a Novation. So if I go to my Studio One preference, external device, you can see I have a launch key set up over here. Okay, so this is my launch key MIDI controller. A good thing about using MIDI controllers to control your MIDI is for convenience because you can access this as good as you are playing a keyboard. And even if you are not a piano or keyboard player like myself, I, my first instrument is guitar. So this is not like I'm very uh, fluid with keyboards. I can still use that because it's very convenient. Now to add your preferred keyboard uh, or MIDI controller, you can basically do a add over here and then choose your brand. So for example, if you are using M Audio, you can choose whichever and then receive from out and then send to in.
generally is that case okay now uh, but of course there are so many brands so if you need help um, you can put it in the comments and uh, let me see what I can do to help you to do the setup okay now back to here so suppose I want to continue to record I can actually go back find okay maybe I want to record the hi-hat okay using my keyboard uh, MIDI controller so what I can do same thing I can do a record you see so these are the things that I can repeatedly do and without disrupting the the rest okay so now because it is too fast look so let me have a uh, pre count okay so let me have a two bar pre count and I put my cursor here and then make sure it's the right key okay then I press record okay so you can see from here I may not get the key note exactly the same all right so it doesn't matter because I can still adjust by moving it around so okay and over here when you select this if you go to velocity you can even change the volume of your note okay now so let me just get this thing okay so let me just get my drum kick drum okay let me just so same thing I can do it here I can do it here I can even change the length of the note so I want it to be shorter I can just click and drag it shorter okay so it sounds like this So when we do the row, it's not possible to do the hi-hat because we only got two hands, right? So to make it realistic, I can and uh, cancel this, okay? And then here, I also notice that there is actually a miss on that part. But sometimes maybe it may not be so bad, right? Uh, we can make some variations on our um, MIDI. Um, so this is how it sounds like. okay so now you have done this manually so let me show you another way another shortcut way to build it not from the scratch okay so let me just um, create another drum track so I can go here add an instrument so let me put as drum 2 and I can choose let's say I choose a drum colors uh, maybe orange okay so I click OK now from here same thing I can go to here and instead of going to instruments I can go to loops so from loops I can go to rock drum loop okay classic rock so when you go to loops basically if you see the extensions as dot music loop it basically means it's a MIDI so you can audition it by click on the play at the bottom <laughs> This sounds more interesting, right? So let me just pull over and you can see the difference. Okay. Now, same thing. You can see there are a lot more notes over here. And of course, the sound uh, volume is pretty much uh, louder. So let me just mute this. And if we click on the MIDI over here, it opens up. It says presence 2. Okay. Now, uh, that's why I usually like to rename that so that I won't get myself confused and over here you can even choose different sounds as well from here directly the drop down so okay so same thing okay so what I'm gonna do is to show you if today I choose this and this is how it sounds like okay so it sounds so cool so maybe instead of uh, sorry 
let me bring it back instead of a low crash I want it to be louder so it sounds like this okay now um, so this gives us a little bit faster timing I mean a way to create MIDI drums if you're not familiar okay now so this is how we do the MIDI and the next video we'll look into more details on how to manipulate all the different types of sounds on MIDI and I hope you can start practicing and I'll see you in the next video see you then bye bye